Shalom everybody, welcome to Yeshua Square's production video and today I'm going to do a video on 10 short but powerful prayers that you need as a Christian, as a born again believer in the world today. Uh, if you believe in Jesus and you have made him Lord of your life, you are born again and you've repented, you've born again. So I'm going to go through different prayers that I use and that I've used over um, the past years uh, in terms of what I've learned and I've, what I, in terms of what I've, I know that works. So I'm going to share stuff that actually really works here not stuff that just is from a manual or whatever. I'm, I'm sharing practical stuff that has worked for me in my life. So um, the first thing that is a prayer that is most uh, important and uh, is really powerful is the name Jesus. Okay, Jesus is the most powerful word and name in the world because he is the savior of the world and you'll also notice that Jesus is the only word used as a curse word of any of um, uh, the, the figures in history. You don't hear any cursing of any other figures in history but Jesus. That's because the demonic realm hates the word Jesus. So if you're ever in trouble or if you're, um, you know, uh, you just, you don't know what else to say, just say the word Jesus. It's really powerful. You can, you can say, Jesus, help me. Okay. Jesus, help me. That is so powerful because your angels will move to those words straight away. Okay. God hears every single word you say. He also hears the prayers in your mind. So if you're in a situation, which I was once, and I was encountering uh, right in front of me, a very high level occultic woman, uh, I was trying to get the word Jesus verbally out of my mouth. And all I could get out of my mouth was, G but Jesus and God, God knew what I was trying to say. So he honors that. Okay. So even even if you can't even get the word Jesus out of your mouth, um, just even say it in your mind. If you're under, if you're under some sort of severe um, threat to your life or anything, anything at all, just say the word Jesus or Jesus help me, and your angels will move to your words. Okay, so. Um, that's really important. Jesus, help me. That's a prayer, okay? Because God honors the prayers from the heart. And if I was to say and give you any advice in this video, uh, the prayers from the heart are the ones that are heard the quickest, okay? You cannot fool God. He knows your heart. So you'll often may notice if, you know, asking people to pray for you who don't really care or don't really want the outcome. They're not the type of people that you really want praying for you. You want somebody who actually cares about uh, the outcome and actually wants the outcome for you. So you, God knows the prayers from the heart and he honours the prayers from the heart. That's why often children's prayers are so wonderful because they're just straight from the heart. And God knows that because he can read you because he made you. Okay, next one is, okay, so the first one is Jesus. Just you Use the word Jesus or Jesus help me. If you're in a difficult situation, help me. Jesus help me. Okay, number two, protection. If you want protection, the ultimate protection is found in the blood of Jesus. Okay, it is very powerful. The demonic realm completely go crazy with the words, the blood of Jesus. They, people that are filled with a lot of evil spirits will manifest under the, uh, when you say the words, the blood of Jesus. Okay, it's very powerful. So, you know, when I'm on a bus or getting on a plane or, or that, I always cover the plane in the blood of Jesus, p p cover the train, the bus, the car in the blood of Jesus, and I cover the driver or the pilot in the blood of Jesus. I'd advise you to do this. Um, cover yourself in the blood of Jesus, your mind, your will, your emotions, cover your possessions, your house, everything in the blood of Jesus. It's the ultimate protection. Okay, so it's really powerful and it really works. And the demonic realm do not like you saying the, the words, the blood of Jesus. They hate it. They manifest with it. Okay, so make sure you cover your family in the blood of Jesus. Cover them in the blood of Jesus every day. Okay, never forget that. Okay, so if you're very busy and you're under pressure. <laughs> this is a great one. I don't know many Christians that know about this one, but God showed me this one and it's really, really great. Uh, if you're really busy, which maybe a lot of us aren't as busy now with this lockdown as we were before, but it, things will, will change. Um, so when you're busy um, and you don't think you're going to have enough time to do everything that you need to get done in a particular day, you just say, Lord, bend time for me so I can get everything done. It's really simple and it works. I've tried it, I've used it many times and it works every single time. So what happens is God is outside of time. So he can bend time for you in order to fit in everything that you need to do to get done in that day and it works. So just if you're under pressure and you're having a busy day and you have a big long to-do list of things that you want to do, you just say, Lord, bend time for me today so I can get everything done. I need to get done today. And he will, he'll bend the time and you won't just get what's on the list, you'll get extra stuff done as well. It's amazing how that works. Um, okay, so that's under pressure. You just ask the Lord to bend time for you. 
Um, relationships. Okay, so if there's issues going on in a relationship in your life in general, um, you can just say, Jesus, war on our behalf. Do not let the devil come between us, okay? Um, bind us together with your cords of love that cannot be broken. Okay, so ask Jesus to war on your behalf in relation to the, the relationship. Let the devil not come between us and bind us together. Bind is that. Bind us together with your cords of love um, uh, that cannot be broken. OK, and then if there is a broken relationship in your life, whether it's a father, a son, a daughter, a mother, a sister and a sister, a brother and a brother, an uncle and, a you know, a si- whatever, a sibling, whatever it is, um, you just ask um, the Lord, you say, Lord God, restore the bond, the family bond between the mother and the son or the daughter and the mother or the sister and the sister or the mother and the, uh, and the, the daughter, whatever it is, OK, whatever combination it is, you just say, Lord God. I ask you to restore the bond between us in Jesus' name, okay? Restore that bond in Jesus' name. Now, if you've lost something, okay, which I do a lot uh, sometimes, you know, if you lose your keys or your mobile or your wallet or whatever you've done, if you've lost something, forgotten it, um, just say, Holy Spirit, help me to find my keys. And then you say, I call them back in Jesus name. Okay, so you're dealing again with time here. So if you've lost your keys or you've lost your wallet or your mobile or whatever it is, you just call it back in Jesus name. Okay, so use that one as well. Or or just Holy Spirit, show me where my keys are. Call them back in Jesus name. All right. Um, Now, the perfect prayer is, you know, the the, the whole, the the overall circular one is uh, the prayer that Jesus taught himself to the disciples. And it is the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father. And um, a lot of people may know this, but new believers who have never been, um, you know, shown Christianity or brought up with Christianity may not know this, but it's the Lord's Prayer and it's found in Matthew, Matthew 6, 9 to 13. And it says, Um, It's our Father who art in heaven, holy is thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give me this day my daily bread and forgive me my trespasses as I forgive those who have trespassed against me and lead me not into temptation, but deliver me from evil. Amen. Now that prayer is perfect because it covers everything. It asks the Lord to uh, let his will be done in your life. It asks um, him to supply your daily bread, okay, so your needs, and uh, to forgive you of anything that you need forgiveness from and to forgive those who have forgived, who have, um, uh, you know, offended you or come against you. And then also to lead you not into the temptation of evil, to deliver you from evil and the wickedness of the devil. So it is the perfect prayer. So I would strongly advise you to say the Our Father every day. It's a perfect prayer and it was given by Jesus. So he doesn't get things wrong. So he gave it to his disciples to empower them. So Uh, that's number seven. Okay, number eight. If you want uh, to have a great day or someone else to have a really great day full of heavenly encounters, you just say, Lord, release an open heaven over my day. Release an open heaven over my day. Open the windows of heaven over my life today. Okay, if you want someone else to have a great day, Lord, release an open heaven over them. Open the windows of heaven over them today in Jesus name. Okay, right. Spiritual warfare, the next one, attacking your body. I learned this from someone who's in the healing ministry and I asked him, I was asking him because I was very hungry as to know sort of the, I wanted to know the keys of what can be done and how quick things, prayers and and, and stuff that can be done quickly to affect the right result. Okay, so this man told me to do this. He said, you know, if you, the moment you feel anything coming on your body, okay, so these are evil spirits coming on your body to attack you. Okay, anywhere, the moment you feel it coming on your body, you just plead the blood of Jesus on yourself, on that area, and you just say, be gone in the name of Jesus. Get off me in the name of Jesus. So if you feel a sore throat coming on, a headache coming on, anything weird coming on your body, you just say, you just say I plead the blood of Jesus over that area, and you just say, be gone in the name of Jesus. Uh, you, you just claim the authority of God over your body because you're a temple and you're a child of God and your temple is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So you have the authority to kick off stuff off your body that's coming on your body to attack you. So just say, be gone by the blood of Jesus and in the name of Jesus, be gone. And that's it. And I and you need to do this the moment you feel anything. This is what this man told me. He said, the moment you feel anything coming on your body, straight away, plead the blood of Jesus and say, be gone in the name of Jesus. Okay, so do not wait around because sometimes you wait around and then you're further deeper into it. So just kick it off straight away in the name of Jesus. 
And then the last one really is um, if you want refreshment in your life or you need a, a building up in your life, you just need to say, come Holy Spirit, fill me up. Give me more of you. So just ask the Holy Spirit to fill you up. Give uh, him, uh, ask him to, to fill you up with more of him and ask him for more and more and more to fill you up for the day and to be with you the whole day and to give him more of you. Just ask for more of the Holy Spirit. Fill me up, Lord Jesus. Fill me up, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, fill me up. Fill me up to the top uh, with your precious Holy Spirit. Okay, so there are uh, 10 um, uh, prayers that I have personally used. I can personally testify that they all work. And, um, you know, prayer does come from the heart, as I said. So the best prayers are the ones from the heart. And the best prayers are really your own words. But I'm sharing these with you because I it's not that I didn't know how to pray but I when you're a new believer years ago it's like you're learning and you're growing and I observe what works and what doesn't work and uh, I love observation but I also love I'm a very practical person so I like things that work and I'm always kind of if I read a book I want to learn something from it I don't want to read a book where I don't learn something from it you know I need to be able to learn something practical uh, from things uh, in life and um, there is a lot of stuff out there to 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 wade through a lot of information to wade through to get through the gold. So I hope I'm sharing with you some gold that I personally have learned in my life and that the Lord has shown me and led me to which all works and um, I have testimonies of all these prayers actually working. So um, yeah I hope it has um, helped you and um, I will be doing another another more videos because um, as an intercessor and a prayer warrior you, there's loads of stuff that God has revealed to us all on what works and what doesn't work. Um, so I, I've i already, uh, there's going to be more videos on this. So this is part one. So part two and part three and perhaps more will be coming. Uh, but it's to empower you, the individual believer, to fight the demonic realm but also to really cover yourself uh, in while in prayer and in prayer intercession and to show you what works for me so far and what doesn't. Um, so there's there's 10 prayers there and I'd advise you to write them down and advise you to start doing them and um, there's some more exciting ones coming in part two and part three and further on. So God bless you for now and um, I hope that's helped you and I will talk to you again soon. Check out yeshuasquare.com uh, which is the website this is from. It's to bring Christians together and there's Christian events there and there's products there for sale like e-cards and e-books and songs and all that sort of stuff and you can write a an event if you have a Christian event coming up you can register an event for free there it's a directory for Christians around the world so God bless you and I'll talk to you again soon bye for now